You know, the empress is the empress is the mother uh, to the heir of the emperor. So we can come to the conclusion that the empress is a mature and worldly woman who has undoubtedly experienced motherhood. Uh, she is the personification of uh, the worldly realm. Um, she is worldly in a way that the virginal popess or the high priestess is not. She has a lot of practical intelligence. Um, some might associate, some, I've heard some people associate that the number three triangle kind of mimics her posture on a chair. I really don't see a triangle, you know. You know, I, I think that's really a stretch, but some people, you know, might say that her body is like a, a triangle. I mean, if that helps you remember it, then that's cool too. But an the, another um, significant reason, aside from the ones I've already discussed, that she might be a three is because we know during the period of time that the tarot, the TDM decks were created, there was a, um, a, sedentary, uh, a sedentary nature to tarot um, as a device. Uh, there's a significance, you know, it, it, within the TDM decks of the number seven. So it makes sense that the Empress is number three to the Emperor's number four. You know, that they're, they're a pair, just like the Popess and the Pope, or the High Priestess and the Hierophant, are two and five. You know, they are a match that equal seven. And uh, unusual, you might think, that the one, the uh, the Betelur, the Magician, in this regard, is um, combined with the six card, which is the lever card. And we, maybe we'll get to that when we get to, to number six. Um, so that's another reason why the number three, it may be an appropriate uh, number for the empress. And there's one more thing that I'd like to mention. And that is, uh, with the exception of the dodal, the empresses of these three cards, um, at least, and many other decks that I've, I have, the empress looks at us straight on. She's just like her, I think, in, in Justice are the two cards, female cards, that just look at us head on, you know? They look like looking right at you. And from my years of art school <laughs> learning, because I was an artist, uh, I still am, but I, you know, I went to art school and my interest, it, it, as a matter of fact, for the cards, you know, you know, was born of my art, you know, background. And at any rate, um, one of the things that we kind of learn is when we see nudes of, uh, you know, depicted of, of female nudes, the women are often in, have a demure glance they're not looking directly at the at the at the viewer you know they are like looking to the floor they're looking to the side which kind of suggests that you know oh you intruded in their space they're very virtuous women they're not looking at you they're not brazen women uh you know they're they're virtuous and um you know when there is a, a female who is uh nude and, and looking at you straight on it kind of is a suggestion that she, oh she's a brazen woman or she's maybe even a prostitute which is not the case with the empress however this, this, I think it's an interesting thing that the Empress, you know, is one of two cards that uh, stares at us head on because it highly suggests a high level of confidence, um, a great sense of self-understanding, um, self-worth, and, you know, as I said, a high, high level of confidence, uh, you know, with, with justice, you know, it's, it, that plays just as well. And with her, you know, she's uh, impartial to boot, you know, and the Empress has to be impartial to some degree as well. At any rate, um, this has been a very long video. Thank you for hanging in there with me. Give it a thumbs up, please. If you like what you see, please follow me, share me with your friends. And if you uh, take any of the information, you know, uh, you can source me. I don't mind <laughs> any credit. <laughs> and thank you once again. And next time will be the Emperor.